Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. So, I want to first off, I want to thank Chuck's Auto Salvage for these doors, and these doors are for the International Radical Build Off Drive Off Car, the 2020 car that we're building for SEMA. And these, no, they're not going on the car, <laughs> but I'm going to show you what we're going to build with these doors for the car. And we'll go ahead and get started with that. And these are two, uh, what are they like, 2002 Chevy truck doors? Yep. Something like that? Yep, right along that age group. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these up and I'm going to show you how we're going to build the grill for the car. Chevy truck door that I just cut off. We had to cut the video because we had to use extra hands. <laughs> and then I'm going to cut it here, and I'm going to cut it here, and I'm going to take a left door and a right door, so a driver's side and a passenger's door, driver door, passenger, <laughs> passenger door, door, yep. The and tops I'm make of both. for the car out of these door tops. You want to cut the camera? I'll cut the other one and then. Uh, all right, we're that not going to make them. The noise because it's super loud. So. It is. We're not going to make them listen to all that crap. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So yeah, anybody want a convertible door? We got one. Hand okay. Ready? I'm born ready. All right. Anyways, so here's the left side and the right side we cut off, and as you can see, it's got that grill shape to it. And then I'm going to bring them in and we cut the bottoms. See, so it makes this shape here. Like that and yeah. use these as the grill and now you can kind of see the shape like this can you hold that up a little bit i don't know if it'll stay together huh yeah that's right awesome Okay, well, well it's a little uh, skinnier on that car, but this is a little bit fatter, wider car. So it I'm is a little bit really wider. So let's uh, put it together and see what we think on the car. Mm -hmm. over the top of the hood, so we're going to have to shorten this thing down somehow. Let's figure out where we want it at. And figure out the rake and everything. Yeah. The rake that I want to put it at. And... Because this is going to be a... Uh... Oh, I'm, I'm looking at it with the airbags down all the way, too, so... Oh, okay. So off the ground, you know. So yeah, I think we'll be all right. I think so. Um, that's a, I, you know, I thought it would need to be wide like it is, but it almost looks like it's a little bit too, too wide. wide. Right? That's what I'm thinking too. Um. Oh, I just squeeze them together. A little better, and then you got to bring the bottom in a little bit. Yep. So you will be making it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess the tape. To, you can kind of picture. I can, yeah, I can see it. Um, yeah, it's by bringing the bottom in a little bit too, it's gonna help a lot too with okay. the size. So. Yeah, I think it'll work out good. Um, so then we want to line the top of it up with the firewall. No, I want the top of the hood to go down so that the hood ends up right here on the top of this. With a, a little bit of a yeah, slope down? Yeah, with a little down. bit of a slant to the grill. Okay. So if you want to shut that off, I'll get everything all laid out and all right. start getting some stuff ready to cut and then... 
So what I got is I took some black tape and Heidi and I stuck this up to the car and we got the measurements by sitting this on some blocks on the car like this and lean it way back like it, like it is in the picture. And then uh, we'll get it where we want it. And then what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna start cutting this and welding it and I'm gonna cap the grill back by uh, splitting it in the middle. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna get this black tape cut off and I'll get my measurements laid out and get everything pretty much cut or ready to cut. And then uh, we'll film some more in a bit. He doesn't know I'm videotaping yet. So what I'm doing now is I'm just getting the measurements so I can cut these off one more time. And then I'm going to cut them at like a, probably a 20 or 25 degrees. So it's like this. So that when these go back together, they're not straight like this, but they're actually like this. So then I got to figure out all my angles and all that good stuff. So it's going to be fun. So he's doing all this measuring and he did the last time too but the first one he built like this pretty much just came out made a few cuts put it together figured out how big he wanted it first then put it together and it was perfect he tends to do that so <laughs> well if you cut the left the right should be the same right oh uh, right or left if you look at it in your head and you have a measurement that measurement will come out the same way <laughs> come out the same way or should you can look in your head <laughs> because you look at it eh? Mm -hmm. that was for our Canadian friends I'm trying to practice my your Canuck? my Canadian accent you got me talking. oh sorry yeah I gotta do that angle so. no. <laughs> sorry <laughs> Oh. Should they probably put their safety glasses on? Yeah, you guys should have safety glasses on. So you don't These ones are kind of dirty, but you can you can wear these. See, look at you're protected. Oh, that's probably not going to help anybody. Oh my gosh, these are really dirty. The master is out. If you watch, he very carefully grabs the Sharpie and then he writes a measurement down. Now, this is a really technical guesstimate. So if I get one wrong, they're both wrong. <laughs> That's how I like to do things. If you're gonna screw it up, screw it up good. I was trying to do a golf thing, and then you talked like a normal voice. Oops, I don't cut your head off there, too. Smelly. Oh, 
How'd you guesstimate work? Freaking sweet. Look at that. Sweet. Sweet. You see when these, when you cut these, these will be a little bit different, but I'll have to make a little spot in there to weld it up. But you can see the angle turn out nice. Mm. That way when I weld this, it'll be per tape. Be good. What are you doing? I'm taking pictures because like I have to multitask. So now I gotta what I do. figure out this guy right here. A little bit more complicated. Oh yeah, you shut that camera off. Give me a second. Get okay. all this crap out. So. Oh, this freaking thing right here keeps. Oh, I gotta get that off there. Safety warning. Yeah. Gloves might be this, a good this idea. Plastic is like razors. Yeah. Man, I'm bleeding all over the place. Oh, that's one of those louver things. Yeah, and it's broken. So every time I touch See, it, I public touch service it. announcement: no louvers and stay away from. What are those things called? I don't know. Those things that rest the wheel wells. Those things. Stay, the, stay away from those. What do you need? <clears throat> so we, clamped, we had the top of it clamped <clears throat> together so you can kind of see the angle that it is. And now he is doing the bottom. Do you want to share words with your adoring public? throwing things at me. assume that's a good thing. I had to get my step stool so I can give you guys a little bit better view of what's happening. My... You know, what I'm using, I'm using like a piece of plastic to go around all this craziness right here. I think that's like just from a regular craft store or something, yep. right? It actually is from Michael's craft store. The other, we use some pretty unconventional stuff. You have to, when you're going around weird shapes like this, you got to be able to have some, you know, flexible tape measures. And I call them women's tape measures because they're like the flexible sewing style or whatever you want to call it. Well, and one of our sponsors for the Radical Build Off is Trulers. And we haven't gotten our package from them yet, but I'm a little interested to try them. This would have been the perfect application for them. But the package isn't quite here yet, so it is what it is. We'll, uh, we'll do it with what we have and we'll use their stuff for something else when it gets here. Is that a 2T hot? Mm -hmm. Blazing. <laughs> Blazing. You can see when you cut these at an angle, you see all the crap that you have to go around right here. Yeah, there's a, a lot in these days. But there's also a lot of good stuff here. Skippity, skippity. Right. Uh, yeah. 
Ay, oh, ay. come on. <laughs> All right, do you want me to help you? Oh, you got it. Nice work, sir. Looks like a medieval knight's shield. Oh, well, great. Now he says it again. I accidentally <laughs> shut the phone off. <laughs> and then he still swears. But it wasn't too bad. I don't know that... Is badass officially a swear word? I think people need to weigh in on that. I can say a couple if you want. You want to say a couple swear words or official swear words? Real swear words. Real ones. Holy moly, I like that thing. Hey, you're in my way. Oh. Dude. What? You're in my way. So this is the part where when you cut these, <clears throat> it gets all jacked up and you got to pull this down to this. But if you look at it, when I'm done pulling this down to it, it'll it'll make it line up really nice. I'm gonna come over there. And I wanna show the how these Yeah. And I've done you know some of these before where it does the same exact thing. Right. And see it doesn't line up exactly when you cut everything. <clears throat> Which means driver's door, passenger door are different on the Chevys, they're kinda like a pacer X. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you just they're probably not. <laughs> but I believe these are also two different years of Chevy. Yeah. So it is what yeah. it is. Um, but so what I'll do is I'll get this ground down to bare metal, um, so I can get it ready to weld, and I'll weld the bottom first, and then I'll pull the top up. If I have to, I'll put a relief cut in here or something like that to move it around, like I did on the other one, and then get this thing welded up, you know, at the angle that we want it to be. So um, I'm gonna go grab my Rolex, get that set up. So. Okay. <clears throat> It'll work great. Don't you have a hammer that can fix that? Oh, yeah. It's always a hammer. Hammers can fix almost anything. Oh, this anything. is the piece on the other one, remember? Yep. That's what I was talking about. Right yep. You had yeah, to... yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got Do it. Do you want to share that with the <clears throat> folks? So, Sorry. this was on the other one. I was trying to remember where it was that I had to fix on the other grill when I did it last time. But this side, the right side always sticks up. So this is the passenger side grill uh, door, and this is the driver side door. But the passenger side door always ends up sticking up more. So then you got to kind of mold this into it on this piece here because this this lip right here is where I'm going to sit some stainless steel um, fins in here mm -hmm. and it'll be pretty sweet looking so I'm gonna go ahead and get the spot welded here and run my weld all the way down or a couple spot welds or whatever and then I'll, I'll start working on getting that top part welded you're gonna nibble that piece out or you have to wait no I'll wait till it's all welded together <clears throat> and then I'll I'll cut that piece out of there with a grinder and kind of form it to the the shape that I want on the bottom so okay. that when, I, when that grill bolts in there, I have somewhere to bolt to. Okay, so I was thinking to get it to the get the ends to come together properly. You had to do that, but you don't. No. Oh, okay. No. Cool. No, you can like you can see right here, it fits together really nice, and that's the part that I'm worried about is that bottom part right here. As long as this fits super nice right here, see this doesn't, and this is the part where when I'm done welding, I'll I'll nibble this out a little oh, bit right here. Oh, okay. And then as long as this. This V butts together super nice and welds clean. Then that's all I care about because the top is meeting up really nice right now too. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, the top looks great. Uh, I just stepped on something. Spot right here and here that's going to be welded, and here and here that'll be welded. And then what I did is I, you want to have a spot where you can ground the the welder to. So I put a, a spot on here to ground the welder also. Just made it you know down to bare metal. And then uh, I'll go ahead and start getting these welded together. So when you get this grill all set up, you have it welded at the top and you have it spot welded at the bottom and you can see right here, it doesn't line up at all. And all of them do this, every single one of them. I think because the, pass the passenger door is different than the driver door and every single one of them do this where it has, this side is always uh, about three eighths inch longer. And what I'm gonna do is I'll cut it off real quick and I'll show you how to match those up. Yeah, they are. They're they're a lot different, but they're not. You know what I mean? 
I wonder why that is. But all cars are like that. There's a lot of cars that, um, like there's Ferraris that have fenders that are one and a half inch bigger than the, uh, the driver's side fender is bigger than the passenger side fender. No kidding. When you're doing coach built things and it goes back to being parts being stamped out 100 miles an hour, they're stamped, 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 stamped. Well, if that stamp starts wearing on, on this machine that's pumping out the left door and the one on the right door's the same because it hasn't worn out, well, the one on the left side's gonna be different. Okay. So. Makes sense. See when that's welded, that's gonna look identical. Dang close, huh? Yeah, and this will. I'll pull this. I'll pull this uh, seam together. Obviously, we'll metal work it a little bit to make it. So you can you can because there's like a this, different. Look. Yeah, there's a different, a little bit different angle on that one than there mm -hmm. is on that one. So it's got to do a little metal working, but for the most part, it's gonna be exactly that. That looks awesome. Pushing my buttons. Pushing my button. Button pusher. Butthead. Didn't say that. What a ray of sunshine I am. Oh yeah, freaking great. What'd you do? Had it, moved it. Eastwood. Huh? Oh, you you dinged Monster to sponsor us, but you use your Eastwood welder, and you don't say anything to Eastwood. What the heck? <laughs> Want to throw me that stinger? Stinger. Reach over there. There you go. One of the gazillion uses for scrap metal. Mm -hmm. This is the boring part. This is the part where you got to get it all set up so that you can weld it. And I need a little bottom. That'll work. Oh my goodness. Anyway. Do you want me to hold something? Multi talented, don't you know? Mm -hmm. Well, filming and holding and taking pictures, and trying not to look while you're welding. This is just spot welds because on these new cars, they don't use metal. <laughs> this is where your aluminum cans go. <laughs> we not really like, being facetious. It's so thin though. It is thin. Apologize for some of the weird camera work. I'm not watching as he welds, but trying to film at the same time. I don't know why I'm not wearing a welding helmet. I don't know why you're not wearing a welding helmet. 
<laughs> oh well. Okay. building right here this car and see how the gr grills lean way back and you can see the grill is just like that you can see it in this picture also gr grills lean back and it's got that same shape yeah it looks great and that's how you build a grill out of uh, Chevy pickup doors and when you're walking around in the junkyard, don't just look at stuff like it's a car part. Look at it like you can use it for something else on, on, on something that you're building. You know, don't be afraid to go outside the box and look at something and say, oh, that's kind of the shape of this dealer or that dealer. You know, something I want to do on my quarter pound or scoops on a car or something that you want to build a windshield out of. Take that piece and make it into something. You know, don't be afraid to look at it and kind of check it out a little bit. And this cost me absolutely nothing, thanks to Chuck's Auto Salvage. They sent us two doors. We cut the doors up. It took about 10, 15 minutes of our time. It took a little bit longer because we were filming and I wanted to show you guys what we were doing. But we're gonna take this and put some, uh, some stainless steel fins inside this grill and this thing, will, I mean, it'll be badass looking. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Oops. So you can see how the bottom turned out. Mm -hmm. Nice and smooth on the top. Wow, looks good. I got to keep backing up a little bit here. That looks great. Can we see it next to the car? Mm -hmm. Wow, I like it. So it's going to be sitting like right here somewhere. Mm -hmm. I like that. I got to get the center line all laid out and all that good stuff, you know? I'll throw in some string lines and whatever. Get this center done first, though. Mm -hmm. Mess around with it. So. But it turned out awesome. Feels good on it. Sure does. Good job. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, don't forget our sponsors and all that stuff. And go check out NZ Mopar on YouTube. Uh, Glenn Ridd, he's the one that did the drawing for this car. Good friend of ours. And. Uh, Appreciate all of our sponsors, Lucky Blocks, t, &T Design, uh, Minnesota Outlaw Customs. Right there. No. And I got a list of uh, sponsors right here if you, if you guys don't mind listening. Um, Wayne's Body Shop and uh, Chuck's Auto Salvage is the one that gave us the doors to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, Field of Dreams Auto Salvage, thank you. Um, Polar Insulation, Outlaw Upholstery, Amsoil, Jim, thank you. Uh, Car Quest in Grand Rapids, Minnesota, and Show Car Finish, and Drive Magazine. Thanks a lot, you guys.